Recently, I've been working on a build that will use a non-standard uh, Pixhawk flight controller. And I was looking at uh, a couple of different options, the Holybro Kakute H7, and I'll also in an upcoming video share my findings with a Maytech H743 Slim. But I've been working on this project on and off for about a month, really just struggled getting px4 installed on the board so i'm going to uh, share the process that i went through and maybe it'll help you out i'll also point out that if you look at the documentation here it'll take you through uh, going into um, the process of flashing px4 onto the board now in this scenario, I purchased the Kakute with uh, Betaflight on it. That's how it ships. And there's all this information about using either the Betaflight configurator or uh, DFU utils. And no matter what I tried, I could not get this to wor work. I could not get uh, Q ground control to recognize uh, the, the board. Uh, that being said, what I did was uh, work through the process and shout out to the Ardu Pilot community uh, for their documentation related to the STM32Q programmer. Uh, this software actually does work. Uh, it worked for me and I'm going to walk through the steps that I went through to get it running as well as some of the gotchas uh, to look out for. Let me mention that I am on Windows 10 and uh, had to get the uh, ST Microelectronics Q programmer downloaded from the site, you will need to uh, register. And just to note, you can't use a fake email address. They actually send you a verification link. So you'll be able to download the latest, install it, of, of course, get your necessary drivers uh, running, and then uh, we'll plug in the board and go through the bootloader as well as the PX4 installation. Okay, one thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that you'll see on the uh, bootloader information page that there is a Kakute h7bl.hex file. And I was able to uh, flash this using the Q programmer with no problems, but I really wanted to understand uh, why when I tried to get the uh, bootloader from the boards directory and the PX4 autopilot directory, you can see here, here's a bootloader.bin file uh, this didn't work for me. And so what I ended up doing is just for my own uh, knowledge and understanding was uh, build it myself. And I think maybe perhaps uh, this is a, a bit out of date. So if you get the la latest uh, PX4 main, I believe we're currently at 1.14, uh, you can build it and uh, loading that bin file or the provided uh, hex file should work for you. So feel free to use this. I'm going to just demonstrate uh, the building and loading from the actual bin file. I'm on my uh, Ubuntu Linux machine and I have the PX4 Autopilot directory clone. You can see I'm making the Holy Bro Kakute H7 bootloader file. So that will go through a few steps of uh, compiling everything creating the bin file. So I'll go ahead and let that run. The process is complete. And then inside the build folder, you can see that there's a Kakute H7 bootloader folder, and then uh, the bin file. That is what we'll use to uh, flash the bootloader. Okay, I have my bin file copied over and I'm running the Cube Programmer software, and I wanna show something uh, that's important, very important for this process. So I currently have my Kakute uh, plugged in. You can see here it shows up as a serial device on COM13. That's uh, definitely not what we want. What we want to do is put it in uh, bootloader mode. So I'm going to unplug it, and I'm gonna press the bootloader button. That's obviously the only button on the board. And I'll plug it back in. You'll see that it shows up under universal serial bus devices. Okay, so that's that's the mode we want. I'm going to go over here and what we'll do is 
Make sure USB is selected. That's how I'm currently connected. I'll refresh. You can see uh, USB 1. Then we want to open our file. This is the uh, bin file that I created or, or built. Holybro Kakute H7 bootloader. And then uh, we'll download. So uh, we should get a success notification. Go ahead and close that. Close this. Then I want to make sure uh, to unplug the Kakute. I'll open up QGround Control. And hopefully, if we did everything correctly, we'll go to Vehicle Setup, Firmware. Uh, I'm going to plug in this time not holding the bootloader button. You'll see the familiar firmware setup screen. We'll go ahead and just do stable release 1.14. You'll notice that it's downloading. You can see here the target file, Holybro Kakute H7 default.px4. What will normally happen is if your bootloader obviously hasn't been updated, when you go here, no, nothing will happen and uh, you'll be perplexed like I was for on and off for a few weeks. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to have gotten this running. We'll go ahead and let this uh, finish. Notice it's rebooting the board, upgrade complete. And good news, we have our vehicle setup screen. If I go back to the uh, main screen, let me just move my uh, Kukute around. You'll see the HUD updating, and we can go through the uh, normal configuration uh, that you would with any standard uh, Pixhawk board. So wanted to share that. It was a bit of a struggle and figured I'd, I'd get it documented. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.